What is going on, everybody? This is Retro Lizard coming at you with another one of my mods, man. And this is a special mod. We love Star Wars. We are a Star Wars family. I have loved Star Wars ever since I was a kid. And I am more than happy to be able to mod this Star Wars arcade cabinet. And it's our first Star Wars arcade cabinet mod ever. I am extremely stoked for this. This is running a PC, a Dell Opiplex 3010 with a graphics card that is a GTX 1650 and the big box front end. This is also, the computer is set to automatic power on when power is attached to it. So therefore, instead of using a switch in the back like we normally do, we have a remote control that will turn on and off the whole machine. So let's get into this, shall we? We have about 19 Star Wars games on here. Uh, bear with me because as always I'm doing this on my phone. So we have the inevitable Star Wars arcade trilogy. We have Battle Pod, Star Wars Demolition for the PlayStation 1, also Demolition for the PlayStation, excuse me, for the Dreamcast, Star Wars Battle for Naboo, Nintendo 64, Episode 1 Racer for the Dreamcast, Episode 1 Racer for the Nintendo 64, Rebel Assault for the Sega CD. Rebel Assault 2 for the PlayStation 1. Return of the Jedi Death Star Battle for the Atari 2600. Rogue Squadron for Nintendo 64. Starfighter for the PS2. The arcade game for Atari 2600. Empire Strikes Back for the 2600. Empire Strikes Back the arcade game. Return of the Jedi the arcade game. Star Wars the arcade game. Episode 1 Racer for the Game Boy Color, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2 for GameCube, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3 for GameCube. Unfortunately, this one doesn't load. It crashes upon entry. So let's go into a game, shall we? Let's go with the trilogy. So we have this set, enter your coin button, let's go right into the game, I'm doing this one handed so bear with me. These are the triggers, these are the event buttons. Hopefully I don't get dinged for the sound and the noise and for the stuff for our movie starts. to exit the game we have a dedicated exit button that will exit the emulator so this is also running an amp with two pioneer speakers and the pioneer speakers fit perfectly inside here and where they're supposed to go underneath so we didn't have to do any additional drilling all we did was put them in let's go to some battle pod this one takes a minute to load terrible whistler so we only added the three buttons on here we added your player one start coin button and then the dedicated exit button on this these are micro switch 
uh, buttons also that are wired into the back. So we don't really think that we need anything more than that. Um, you can do a dedicated thrust. This works as the thrust on the left, these buttons for a brake and thrust. And these are your fire buttons on the right. Uh, I didn't really think that we needed anything more than that. We didn't get fancy with this or anything at all for our first mod. Um, we just added the buttons and wired up the yoke stick, added the computer, and then we should be good to go. These speakers sound phenomenal, too. hard to do this one handed. Really hard to do this one handed. There we go. All right, so you get the point. You don't have to watch me play the games anymore, but that's it. We want to give a huge shout out to B Kong. Without B Kong, we wouldn't be able to do this mod right now. He's a huge help. Talked to him a bunch of times through Messenger. Reached out to him. He always reaches back. Big shout out to him for him doing this mod, showing us all how to do this so that we were able to get this done. You know, he's the, he's the Star Wars mod king, man. So huge shout out to him for this. Thank you so much for being able to do this and showing us how to do it too. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to do this for one of my customers right now. So that's it. This is our Star Wars uh, arcade. Uh, to shut the system down, you press the back button, which is this trigger right here. Go back. Go to shut down. And it shuts down the entire system. So then once it's done, you power off. We use the remote to shut it right down. That's it. Then she shuts down. Guys, thank you so much for watching.